Tyler. So what was your world record for? The, the Guinness World Record was for the most front flip slam dunks done by a five-man team in 30 seconds. And we broke the record of 18. Um, that was, a team, I think, a team from France had set that, and we did 18. So how did you get the opportunity to set this record? The opportunity came uh, with a telephone call from um, a gentleman I'd worked from before in New York City by the name of Mark Rogers, an original um, daredevil, the, the team that started acrobatic slam dunking, uh, an incredible photographer up there in New York, as you, you kind of have to be to make a living. He called me, uh, we had worked before, touring around Florida, and he knew I could hit a flip dunk with my eyes closed, and he said, Tyler, uh, we got an opportunity to be on Regis and Kelly, and I need to know if you can hit a flip dunk, even if it costs you your life. <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? Yes, I can hit a flip dunk. What, what's the deal? So he explained the opportunity about World Record Week on Regis and Kelly, and he went out. So he, he bought me a plane ticket, and I went out as part of the extreme team, and, and uh, to do the show. Nice. So the night before, how did that practice go? The, the night before practice was terrible. Um, I got there, and I knew Mark, and I didn't know the other two guys. Um, I knew, uh, excuse me, three guys. I only knew Mark, I didn't know the other three guys. I knew of one of them. Um, I was the youngest by 10 years, and we horrible practice. We didn't want to go 100% because we were afraid that we, were be, you know, we didn't want to be sore or something like that. Get hurt, yeah, get hurt before the, before the, the actual record attempt the next day. The record that we had to beat was 16, I think it was 13 on our best run. And after like an hour, they were like, we're going to be done. It's not, it's not going to happen tonight. We'll save it for tomorrow. And I was like, Save it for the month. Save what for the month? That was horrible. Uh, balls were flying everywhere, bouncing off the rim. Um, it was not good. Mm. It did not inspire confidence that we were going to attempt the record at all. But I figured, like, hey, it's a good. At least it's a good experience, right? It's a good opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> so the day of the day, the day arrives. What happened the day of the record? Uh, woke up with some fear and trembling after not a great night's sleep on Mark's couch in a very small, nice but small apartment in New York City. And we walked oh to uh, Times Square and the, tra the mini trampoline was a solid frame. It's too heavy to carry, but they're on wheels. So we literally just stacked it up and stacked the mats on top of it. We grabbed our sacks of you know gear, tape, you know, mostly athletic tape, Advil, Gatorade, and basketballs and a pump. So we had three or four sacks and we walked several blocks, quite a few blocks into New York City to get to Times Square. We got there and there, the studio was inside so we had to figure out where to do it. We set up a basketball goal. I don't really remember where the goal came from. It was like a huffy, no it was nicer. I don't know where the basketball came from. Maybe it was provided. But we got there, set up, did some warm-ups. We had to measure yeah. everything out. Yeah. 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 Third baseman, David Wenzel. We had to uh, set up, we had to measure everything. The guy that was officiating from, from Guinness, World Records, I don't remember his name, uh, Andrew Flaxton was his name actually, and he you know, made sure that we were running from half court and it was 10 feet tall and the balls were not filled with helium, or, I don't know, he checked everything. And we were told that we would be given two attempts. If it didn't go on the first attempt, then we, it would go to a commercial break and they would come back and we would get a second shot, which was a lot better than just having one shot. And then we had friends of friends who were there to shag balls because you have to do your dunk 
hit the trampoline to do your flip dunk. And when you go upside down for your flip, the guy in front of you was so close because this is a timing thing that he's still in the air. He hasn't landed yet. If he, does, if he hangs onto the rim, you're going to hit him. You know, you're going to straddle him or something like that. So the balls hit the ground and go flying quick, but we only got so many balls and we got to do 18 of these. So there were guys ro rolling balls back as fast as we could. So we would land, run back, grab another ball, and go as quick as we can. So um, we warmed up a couple times. Uh, I was the elite trampolinist and the youngest by 10 years, so I did a, a couple of extra flips for an opening spot where they warmed us up and introduced us to the crowd. Um, and then we just basically came out in between takes, shook our hands and said, good luck, hope you get it. Uh, you guys are fantastic. And then, then they lined us up and we, we ran it. There was a lot of waiting around, but it was really fun. We were pumped and everything went like a miracle, perfect. No misses, everybody hit their, their, their marks for their, their, you have to be a certain number of steps in front of people. Uh, or behind people or you'll catch up to them. So you gotta stay in sync with your steps. Everything went great. We didn't lose any balls, nobody tripped, nothing. On the first oh. attempt? On the first attempt, it went. But because the guy in front of you who's dunking his ball when you go upside down to flip, you don't know if his ball went in or not. What you don't want to see is his ball bouncing around the rim and maybe fall in, maybe not, when it's your turn to stuff the ball in. Um, anyways, we were, you know, so they ended it and then it, everybody was hyped about it, it looked good, and then they went to a commercial break and we are like, how many did you do? I did four. How many did you do? You did three? You did, you did three. Did they all go in? We were trying to count and we were like, okay, well it's definitely, it's definitely at least a tie, 17. And uh, it turned out to be 18. So they came back on the commercial break. They apparently knew that we had done it because they didn't set us up for a second attempt. Um, the judge said, you got 18, confetti comes down, we celebrate, hands them the plaque, celebration, off to another commercial break, because that's how TV worked. Um, after that, they wrapped up their filming for the day. We went in to see the studio, took pictures, um, it was really fun, and then Regis sat around and talked to us for like 30 minutes. He asked, he asked everybody where they're from, how they got into gymnastics or trampoline or splits. He was a super down-to-earth guy. He was also incredibly short, very small bodied, and it's a huge face. So like perfect for television because you can zoom right in and his face fills up the whole screen. Uh, but he's a really, just a nice, down-to-earth fellow. So that was the experience. And then uh, after we were done for the day, we went back, showered, and got some food, and headed back to the airport, and that was kind of it. No, I have a question. Yeah. You told me at one point, I can't remember what what it was and when you told me, but when y'all were doing the flip flops, wasn't it like more than one every, like, yeah, more one than second, one. More than one every like two that. seconds, because you got seconds. 30 seconds and there was 18 guns. So I don't know what the math on that is, but pretty fast. Two seconds. Less than two seconds. There's a ball going in the hoop. Less than every two seconds. Faster than every two seconds. Yeah, really fast. I feel like that would have made me nervous. It looks slow on video. It's here. fast. <laughs> it's really fast, especially after three or four, you get out of breath. Tyler, you still do a flip dunk? Oh yeah. Uh, absolutely. With my eyes? Not with my eyes closed, no. uh, One time I did have my leg go through. I'm oh, sorry. Twice. Two times I had my leg go through the rim. She was there for one of them. Was that at the Raptors game? No, it was in the gym for practice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Eli and TD were there. And, uh, yeah, I can hit a flip dunk for free, but extras, yes, if there's a paycheck. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to that? No. no. I'm ready to do that again. Yeah. Green team. 10 year anniversary. Let's have a tour. Back on the road. You want to come on the road? Yeah, Rich. Sure. Okay.